Hello everybody, welcome back to AI War Fleet Command. I've got a couple bits of news for you. First of all, I'm recording on a new microphone here. I think it's an upgrade over what I was using, trying to get rid of some of the high volume, in particular, distortion. That was getting a lot of vocals. I'm going to have to be doing some playing around with that, and obviously there's going to be a little bit of, you know, feeling it out going on. So if you have any feedback on that, feel free to share it. Always enjoy finding out what the experience is from the other side. We are, of course, in the Fallen Spire campaign, the Light of the Spire third expansion for AI War, and we're almost two hours in. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. Now, I should say there may be some episode days that I have to skip in this series coming up, because, unfortunately, I'm not quite as far ahead on it as the others, and as you may be able to tell, I'm kind of nasally, because I decided to get sick on the first official day of spring. So I'm going to be doing some recording, but obviously my top priority is going to be able to get myself healthy and I'll just have to make more videos around that. So appreciate your patience and bearing with me on that. Of course, whatever delays do happen, I will get back to the regular schedule as soon as I am healthy enough to do that. So in the almost 10 minutes of game time that's passed since the end of the last episode, I have put in turrets up to the desired level of 30 mainline in every system that we control. So that's going well. We took out one Spire Civilian Leader here in Chiron. I did a couple of unlocks, Mark II Engineers, Mark II Raid Starships. And the reason for that is I want to be hitting some more of this stuff. Right now we've got multiple things going on. Beginning here in Adiona. And at the moment in Adiona, what I want to do is take out a data center and the Spire civilian leader in here. And this is very much a one-way trip. You can see our transport is gone. Just disappeared when we came in here. It was a long journey. And as much as possible, I just want to ignore them. I've got some scouting going on. And then I also need to do some cleaning with the hive golem. So there's all kinds of stuff. But first of all, yeah, I just want to get in here and oops, I need to be, yeah, I need to be active. Come on. There we go. We got that one. But they're shooting. Yeah, it's an MLRS-3. Let's see if we can get over there to hit the Spire. I don't know if we're going to. Okay, yeah, the Spire 1s are gone. but Or the Raid Starship 1s are gone. But the Mark 2s are still alive. So I would not. Yep, that worked. But it would not have if I had not upgraded those. So I'm going to try to get out. I don't know why you want to go that way. Four hops. Well, I suppose four hops is four hops. Sure. Why not? Okay, then our next little barrel of fun here is that our hive golem's almost full. So I want to pop that in. You can see that the hive golem, or broken widow golem rather, is being repaired. It's up 41%. Gradually improving. I want to pop the hive golem into Endor. Unload its stuff and have them go to work there. And of course, we're going to want to hit this data center in Eris. But... That'll come in a bit. <clears throat> the main thing was to get in Adiona to get that thing down uh, before hitting the next hour so that we could get one less AI progress from it. So we should be down to like six up and three down on that, which is not perfect. It's not terrible either. And here's Endor, which is nearby system to Merapi. Right there. Had quite a few ships in here. They don't have as many anymore because we've released a bunch of our lovely creatures. But I'm also setting a bomber starship in here, or go by scouts, to just knock out the barracks. There we go. Now you go back. So that they can handle those ships as well. Well, okay, don't go back. Yeah, that's fine. Reprisal level 2. I'll live with that. I'll live with losing a starship to clean out this system. Okay, so this is my first experiment, experience excuse me, with the Rocketry Core. And that's because when we hit Adiona, it's not alert anymore, but at the time it was. We annoyed the, the silo in there. It's a Mark III. So it sent a Mark III lightning warhead at us. And it came into Iris. Now what I did not realize is that these are immune to sniper and missile. So our turrets, long-range turrets, which I thought might handle this, Probably not going to be too effective against it. We've got some ships hitting for Zenzen. We should be fine there. I mainly want to watch this. 
And that reprisal level two. Oh no, is it headed to Elpis? So they're actually going potentially to my home world. Well, I have ships here. It's going somewhere else. It wants to go to Frizenzen. Let's not let it. Let's just take these out. I just kind of want to stick with this to see what it does. I mean, obviously, it's going to destroy. Okay, now it's coming after me. Yeah. The ships went after it. It blows up a bunch of my ships. But are you serious? 1,100 ships coming to Frizenzen. That's a level 2 reprisal. Okay. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a good job for our golem. So I'm going to want to get this thing back in order to help deal with that. It doesn't have that many of these, but however many it has will help. Endor has been handled. We're not going to have a lot of problems from there. Well, as it turns out, it's almost all Tachyon Micro Fighters. And we got about 70 Wasps, which is not a huge amount. But Tachyon Micro Fighters are not that exciting. And they have a couple of Plasma Sieges, which are about to go down. They're sure having no problem ripping through this. There we go. And you can see how volatile our scrap. I mean, look at the amount of scrap. It's just constant. We're probably harvesting like 4 million scrap or a little more right now. And that's one of the reasons why I unlocked the engineer drones is just so I could build things faster. Because when I need to build stuff, I have a ridiculous amount of metal to do it with. Speaking of which, it's time to upgrade what we're doing over here in Merapi. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy, I may, have, I may end up doing more, but I'm going to get a few Mark II engineers going and just have them work on getting this golem done first, because that's the next step. I've got to keep my starships here protecting that until we get this thing repaired. And here you can see what our latest deal was. Plus five from civilian leaders. I thought it was going to be plus six. And then plus one from the auto progress. So there are five active civilian leaders minus three. So if we were to capture one, we would have a net positive. I wanted to be there by now, but we're not quite there. However, we are keeping it down. So at the moment, it would be plus six per hour AI progress. Whereas, because we'd be getting four from the auto progress and two from the civilian leaders. It would have been plus 12 with the AI progress level I was using before. So... I may have asked, maybe I should have done one every 10 minutes, because two hours into the game, I'm already doing much better on that front. For the Fallen Spire campaign, I don't feel bad about doing that in any case. And it's good to experiment with different settings. And here we go. So just over two hours in, we get our first warning of an incoming exo wave. Now, since I haven't seen these before, I'm going to kind of play it cautious here. I'm going to try to handle this with the golems we have. The wasp golems have a stupid amount of DPS. I'm going to fill that up and use it. And also use the Black Widow. I'm not going to try to do anything more aggressive until this comes. Because I don't know. This doesn't give me a time frame. It says 50%. Does that mean it's gathering more force? Most likely. Yeah, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm in the middle of an attack and it hits. And I lose stupidly. So we're just going to be patient with that. I'm going to do some more raiding here. But that's it. It wasn't very long till I reversed that decision, though. If you look at our progress here, it's been several minutes. It's only up to 53. Okay, it just hit 54%. So it's taking a, between 2 and 3 minutes to even upgrade a percent. Now, maybe that rate will change over time. I doubt it. But it looks like it's going to be a couple hours until that hits. So I've got time to do some things in the meantime. But I think that's the sort of my medium-range goal here is to be ready for that, obviously. And I thought about where I wanted to expand next. As much as I'd like to hit Strix Nebulosa, it'd be easier and probably more productive for me to take Minerva, which has Botnet Golem. It is also going to activate another one of these wonderful silos, so I'll need to leave ships in there to prepare for that. I think, like, one bomber starship is a good thing to deal with it. But then also, I want to do some hacking after this, because I want to definitely get... The munitions booster here, and if I can, like the blade spawner here, you know, just to upgrade our defenses and be even more prepared. I've also started building 
a little bit at a time. I've paused it for the moment, but I've got a missile silo and a level one warhead in Alpha. So I'm just trying to prepare across the board for that attack. Here we are in Mark II Minerva, which theoretically should be a walk in the park. They do have a couple of implosion guardians. I want to take those out fairly quick. They've got a bunch of other things. Gravity guardian, that'll be fun. Warp gate guardian. Now these, they actually let you know when they spawn them. I've seen a couple. But these, you have to be careful of. Because if they come into your system with an attack, then they can actually send, you know, a, a wave in further if you don't take them out. Because they're actually a mobile warp gate. But all in all, we've got a Black Widow Golem, we've got some starships. This is not one of the crafty Spire worlds, so we should not be seeing, I hope, any of the Spire craft showing up. So if I'm right about that, then this should be a pretty simple operation. Unload the transports, get them out of the way, and let's get this colony ship back in them eventually. There we go. Now first up, not the command station, let's hit these guardians. There we go. Bunch of stuff streaming over this way. Let's just group up over here. And our golem, okay we lost a few percentage points, but nothing severe. I just want to absorb whatever it's going to send at me here at this point. That appears to be most of it. Okay, here's a warp gate guardian. Let's let's go after the gravity guardian next. And then get the warp gate one. Alright, now we need to move it along. Stick out that missile guard post. And then that one. Nine's little regen chamber was the other thing. Okay, so now we should be able to relatively easily just sweep through the rest of this system and capture it. We've got a few more, you know, MLRS, Needler, Missile, etc. We've got enough force. They're only Mark II. We're just going to go through and clean them out. Shouldn't lose that much in the process. Minerva did, in fact, go pretty smooth except for one little wrinkle. Warheads from next door, Camilla. Camilla? Whichever. Um... They came in here and knocked out a bunch of our fleet ships, but I was ready the second time. Just got a bomber starship here to blow it up. Well, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I've got I had those all on FRD. Okay. Anyway, I lost a few ships there, not many. And all that's all I can really do on those is sort of minimize the damage. Because they're gonna do some damage. You have to get close enough to them to take them out. I still want to see what happens when you take over the system. There's a advanced research station there I want to capture, but that'll happen later. Now we're busy building up the botnet golem. We don't have quite enough metal to do it, so we're just sort of struggling along here. The scrap is not nearly as significant now. But also they have a second Exo Strike Force coming, and it looks like it's going to come about half an hour after the first one. That's going to be an interesting thing. How many of those are they going to come? Are they going to keep stacking them? Or is it just like one per AI and then I'll have a bigger gap in between? I've got to see how that goes. But right now we're just sort of waiting on metal as the botnet golem spools up. Done two-thirds of the repair and a little bit more to go. Had to play Ring Around the Rosy with the Devour Golem a bit, but then I hopped in here to Titania where we have my golems take on and mostly the botnet one, take on this hacking job. I do have a blade spawner down here. I think it's a Mark III version. 
but generally I just want to send the golem literally straight at this attack and turn their ships against us and I, I think that little bit that they're doing here hopefully over the five minutes it won't matter that much you can see all of these I mean like the hold on warheads on Varda now palace where is that they went from Varda to palace they may be coming down to Minerva okay so I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna want to watch that but you know generally speaking just keep the botnet golem going this way And then now, now you can see like the blade spawner has other things to shoot at. And instead of this being a situation where we're just defending, and we're doing some of that, but also we're attacking them. Warhead's now at Palma, okay. Still there. Now they're sending some bigger stuff at us. Okay, let's back off and let those zombie bots do their thing. There we go. Herculina. Now that's... That's a bigger, bigger issue. I don't have anything over here to... To take it on with. And that's something I need to consider more. Now we've, ooh, they've got a couple of these in here as well. Yeah, that could be a serious problem, because if that comes in here along with this other stuff... See if I can get some raid starships down this way to handle that. Okay, I'm gonna send these down to Herculina. Try to... just for speed. Just having a, a ship around to handle those is really important. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be there in time. They're not. There they are. Go get it. Hit it again. Hit it again. There we go. Yeah, okay, and we lost the command station. And we lost. I lost the. Spire leader I had captured there, doggone it. We can rebuild everything else. That's not like a fatal, horrible defeat, but it sucks. Okay, let me pop back into Titania here. So yeah, we're still doing... Okay, now we're starting to head off down this way. So this is all going swimmingly. Is it, you're at 97% and you're at 94%. we are handling all of this just fine. We only got a few minutes left in the download. I definitely need to get a remains rebuilder down there to start rebuilding this system. So I don't know where those warheads are going to go. So I've got to maintain ships ready to hit them when they enter a system. So yeah, the rocketry core, more annoying than I was hoping you would be. Okay, so once I got everything done in Titania, that's been finished. See Herculina's back up. Well, not back up. It's working its way there. It's rebuilding everything. We do have our command station back in here. So we didn't lose the system permanently or anything. We did get our download of the munitions booster. So then I headed back in here, which is where our one active research station is. And I spent a ton of knowledge. We're almost out of it now. I did Mark II of all of our turrets. Could go with the heavy beam cannon, but with none of this left, I didn't want to do that. I got the counter dark matter turret even. I went up to the Mark III grav turret. And I also got the second level of the munitions booster, which is the one that gets you up to 110%, which is slightly above the max the turrets can take. So what I want to do now is I need to up, I want to upgrade all of our defense, but I also want to take one other system because I want to deal with that nuclear silo. That going to cause us a pain in the butt and I think the one in Kamiya is the only one that is on alert right now. I checked some of them like Adiona that's not on alert and I think there was one in Eris if I'm not mistaken yeah but that's not on alert either. I think this is the only one that's going to be sending them at us but I want to deal with that and it's got the research station there anyway so I'm trying to do both of those at the same time we're about three quarters of the way now to getting this exo strike force we probably got just over an hour until that one comes so i think we've got plenty of time but i need to be focusing in more on that so right now i'm going to just take a pause build up our defenses upgrade 
So here we are in Camilla, where I was trying to... It's a Spirecraft world, or a crafty Spire world. I'd sent in some starships as bait. I was going to send in the Hive Golem, but they didn't take the bait. So, at least not yet. So I said, okay. I send in a couple... Send in Botnet and Black Widow Golem to back them up. And then, of course, I still have the Hive Golem waiting out there if it needs to be used. Let's get rid of that missile guard post. And there, of course, is the nuclear silo. Yeah, for whatever reason, they are not... Uh, are not jumping in here. Let's get the botnet a little bit more in there, get it involved. And our starships are taking a beating, but that's fine. I, I don't even really care about that. There's multiple ion cannons here. Let's go after that blade spawner. Oh, and there's another missile guard post. Let's actually hit the guard post first. And there's not much left. My starships are pretty much gone. Of course, this is a job that the golems can handle just fine. But I'm just, I'm really surprised that they did not, for whatever reason, jump in here to help, so... I don't know, maybe we've been causing them enough trouble that they don't have any to spare at the moment, although that doesn't seem likely. Well, our good friend the Silo kept shooting off warheads. He got another one off before we were able to take control of the system, which sort of complicated things. They put in some blade spawners when I got the command station up, and that took that down. But bottom line is, we lost all the starships. We did take the system. Our golems are still fine. Well, didn't lose all the starships. Kept the Zenith Mark II. That's the only one that actually survived. So we have taken the system, and that means the planet's no longer on alert, which means the silo is offline but we have more complicated things coming we have a cross planet attack showing up you see our time is ticking down here we've got lots more turret upgrades to do all kinds of stuff and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be as ready as I'd like to be in time and of course we skipped over to the next hour and we just got the plus five from the civilian leaders because we had lost our captured one we didn't get that negative three Still doing pretty well, but definitely not perfectly. Lots of things to prepare for here. Coming up next, we'll be looking at that cross-planet attack and probably these exo-waves and a little bit more of stuff starting to hit the fan. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. More AI War coming up soon.